In this School Spider tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage your staff who can log into the administration area and add stuff to the website and to the pupil area. So, in order to manage our staff, we click on the More Stuff tab. And you'll see the top option is Manage your members of staff who can log in. So, we click on that. And then this is a list of all the staff that are currently um, registered on the website. If you need to go back and change them or view their password or edit them, I just click the little plus button or I click the cross button to delete them so they won't be able to log in anymore. I'm just going to add a new member of staff. So we're going to add Ian Rand. So I just choose Mr. Start at the top, work way down as, as ever. Mr. Ian Ran. I can put his email address in there, which is um, good practice. And then I can add a brief bit of information about the member of staff as well if I want to. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, give them a username and password. Um, always make your passwords very difficult to, to guess, you know. Try and create, um, you know, a random password. If you're doing passwords that are, you know, regimented and they all run in sequence, they're going to be very, very easy for other people to guess. So try and make a password that is quite difficult. Okay, now you need to choose what type of member of staff they are, what staff type. So an administrator is can see and edit everything that goes on on the pupil VLE, on the website, everywhere. that You've got full control. Um, so the administrator is the top option. Anyone else except the governor, anyone else can only see and edit things that they have put onto the website and the pupil VLE. So administrator sees everything. Um, anything below that is just sees what they've put on. And if you select someone to be a governor, they have the lowest level of privileges. So they see a completely different area when they log in. And they can only edit pages that you have set for them to be able to edit. Okay, so I'm just going to set myself to be an administrator. Take it to be active. And then press save. So that's all we've got to do. So now, um, now Ian can log in with his credentials that we've given him there. Um, and he can access this and start adding bits of information to there. You see, once we've saved it, we have um, we've got an image manager um, on the right hand side. So what this software does is it automatically pulls through onto the class page information about the teacher and information um, information about the class. So it tries to pull everything all together. So if you if you if I associate Ian Ran with um, a class, so say for example Year Six, it will start to pull all this information through. So for example, let's just upload an image. It's going to upload this sort of test image. So let's imagine this was a picture of Ian's face, for example. In this bit, we're here where it says a brief bit of information about the member of staff. Um, Ian has been teaching for over 10 years. Something like that. Just generic sort of stuff. Save it. So now Ian's got um, an image and some information um, associated with him. So I'm just going to go to the class page now. So at the moment, there's only one um, teacher associated with year six. So you see it's Mr. Ellis and there's my photo of myself. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the year six and I'm going to add Ian onto that so you can see how the information pulls through. So I go to year six. So you see at the moment, it's just teacher associated with this class, Mr. Ellis. I can then go additional options, associate another teacher. So we'll find Ian Rand from our list there. Go down to the bottom and press save. If I now refresh this, this will pull through information about Mr. Ellis and about Ian Rand. So you see, that could be a picture of Ian Rand's face, but and then information about the teacher themselves. So try and add as much information into that staff section um, as possible, and um, it will all start to pull through through onto your class pages.